What's up guys? Welcome back to RC Overload and today we are finishing up the ECX Barrage build series, kind of just doing a finalize of everything that's left on the truck. But before I get into that, I just want to quickly apologize in case I sound a little nasally. I've come down with a little bit of a head cold, but nonetheless that ain't stopping me from making a video. So, without further ado, let's get into it and show you guys everything else that's left. Jumping right in to answer one of the number one most asked question about this ECX Barrage is what body am I using? Well, this is the Proline Racing 1966 Ford F100 body for the Traxxas Stampede. It features a 10.1 inch wheelbase, overall length is 15.5, width is 5.9, and height is 5 inches. So overall, it's actually not a bad fit for it. Personally, I don't think it's a perfect fit. It does seem just slightly off, but to be honest, it's really not that noticeable. I mean, if you're looking at it from the side, you might be able to tell that it's not perfect over the wheels. But I mean, for the most part, it still works. Now I did end up mounting this so that the body was behind the front bumper so that I could actually fit the front LED light bar that you guys see here, which we'll get into in just a second. Uh, and it does overhang a little bit on the rear bumper, but it pretty much looks flush and doesn't actually look that bad. Now I didn't really have to do any special trimming or anything to make any of this stuff work. Uh, the wheels do fit in the wheel wells perfectly. It doesn't seem to rub at all, again, with the tires that I'm using here. So I'm actually very happy with how it came out. Now, as far as what colors I have been using, uh, I was using the simple silver and light green from Tamiya, or Tamiya, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> um, as far as the actual numbers, I don't remember the numbers. I will do my best to look them up and post them down below in the description box for you. Uh, but they were just a light green for the trim and your basic silver. So moving on from the body, I decided to mount up a set of LED light bars from Proline Racing as well. These are the 4 inch LED light bar on the roof and the 2 inch LED light bar on the front bumper. As far as mounting it on the front bumper, I only used two screws because of the way the mount was designed and how wide this bumper really is. Uh, and again, I had to do some trimming on the body to make it work. But overall, it actually sits in there very nice. Uh, it's nice and flush. It's actually pretty secure to be honest. <laughs> uh, and it looks great, especially with that front part of the bumper sticking up. Now, these LED light bars are rated for 2S and 3S. They are capable from 6 volts to 12 volts, and they will plug directly into the receiver port of your RC car or truck. Now, I actually set mine up with a simple Y setup, so that way I could only use one port on the receiver without taking up too many spots. Uh, and plus it gives me the option of being able to disconnect the 4 inch LED light bar on the roof here with just one simple connector uh, if I choose to run that one or not. And these light bars do come with a variety of different mounting options whether you're trying to mount them to a roof rack, to the roof itself, to the hood, to the bumpers, or whatever it is that you're trying to mount it to. There most likely is a way to mount it up with the supplied hardware and mounting options that ProLine gives you with this. Now, as you can see, I have two bodies here. That is because my son could not decide on which body he wanted to run. One day he told me this body looks awesome. The next day he tells me he wants this body. So I decided to just make the stock body look a little bit better than what it was uh, by adding in the Proline Racing Overland roof rack. I had an extra one laying around here from a build that I was doing. Uh, and surprisingly, it actually fits very well on that roof. It does overhang slightly. To me, it's not that big of a deal, and it still looks good on there. And if I ever so choose to get another LED light bar, it will fit perfectly right up in that top. As far as the other scale accessories I used, you guys will notice the spare fire extinguisher that I have mounted on the back of the Ford 100 body. This is the same fire extinguisher that I have used since the beginning of time on my original SCX-10. Yes, it is that one. It has made it all, it's made its way all the way now to the ECX Barrage. I don't think I'll ever get rid of that. It's kind of one of those, it just sticks with the show. 
<laughs> now back to the Ford 100 body. I did mount up some axial light buckets to the back side of it. I had some extras laying around and I figured it, they would give it a cool custom look. Uh, I do not have LEDs in them just yet, but that is something I'm going to be looking into here in the future is adding some brake light setups to this. Uh, but for now, it was just more or less a custom look that I was trying to go with this. And again, back to the stock body. <laughs> uh, I'm glued on a hijack lift to the backside. It was a spare one that I had as well, uh, simply just to give it an added look to it. Uh, you'll also notice I added Proline Racing's fuel modular packs to the back of it. I had some extras laying around from when I added them to my SCX-10 II. Uh, and these packs are really cool because they come in both red, white, and blue. And they come in two mounting options. You can either just have one fuel modular pack attached, or you can actually add in two modular packs if you wanted. Uh, they do give you the adapter for it, as well as all the hardware necessary to install it. And installing it is so simple. You really just have to create three holes, two holes on the outside to help mount it, and one slightly larger hole in the middle uh, for the main attachment of it. Now, last but not least, talking about the electronics. Uh, I may have mentioned this in my previous videos, but I did not change out any of the electronics in this truck. The brushed motor, the ESC, and the receiver are all still stock. As far as the electronics that I did swap, which this one I do know I mentioned before, uh, is the servo. I upgraded that to a Hobbystar servo. The information will be in the description box about that. And I upgraded to a 2S LiPo battery for it. Now, as far as the battery I ended up using, this is a 2000 milliamp speed pack 2S LiPo. Um, it is a perfect fit for the battery tray that's in this. So you don't actually have to worry about trying to, you know, finagle something to actually work in there. As far as the dimensions go of this pack, I will try to figure those out and put those in the description box as well for you guys. But this will definitely give us a little bit more power out of the motor uh, and much longer run times than that stock 800 pack that it comes with. Well, that pretty much does it, you guys. This is the all-new ECX Barrage from RC Overload. <laughs> so... With a few mods, some basic changes, and a few upgrades, overall, I am very happy with how this thing came out. Uh, I think, personally, it's going to do very well out on the trail, but until we get it out there, who knows for certain. I have, like I mentioned before, I have done some testing down here, and everything seems to work very well on it. I don't notice any issues. It's almost like an entirely new truck. And being 112th scale, it's pretty cool. Alright guys, if you have any questions or comments about the stuff that I did to this truck, please feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I'll do my best at getting back to you guys as quickly as possible, as usual. And until next time, when we unbox the all-new HPI uh, Venture, which I'm really excited about, <laughs> I will see you guys later. <laughs>